YouTube, it's the YouTube kid here, known as Leon, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today in this video, we are doing What Am I? Basically, if you don't know this game, it's basically what is your love style, what is your national ability, uh, what's your mental age, it's just telling you, like, what are you, like, what's your love style, and telling you your love style. So basically, um, I just want to say that I made this new channel called Nugget Gaming, and all this channel is about is just, I know, like, you're like, now what are you doing, you made, you had a YouTube channel, now you have Squirrel Squad, now you're making, like, Nugget Gaming, what's up? Well, basically, I don't want to be a bit, I don't, I'm not making no more channels. And this Nugget, Jam Nugget Gaming channel will be just all about gaming, and at the end, uh, like at the end of the video, I'll always say, "Become a Nugget today, right?" And uh, I'm gonna pretend like I was gonna be born in McDonald's or something like that. So make sure you go subscribe to them, oh uh, me, and Nugget Gaming if you feel like it. And please subscribe to Squirrel Squad. Basically, like the Sorry Man, we do challenges once a week, so it, it's not gonna be hard work for me because I own those three channels, and it's gotta be tough. But I'm gonna take the challenge, and Squirrel Squad is gonna be like easiest for me because i only do it once a week so make sure to go subscribe to nugget gaming like not my my newest one right when i make a few videos so nugget gaming hold i need to pause on first go to toilet okay sorry about that but make sure please make sure to subscribe to that you know channel nugget gaming with that few videos on it on squirrel squad it's up there we got three subscribers because we're gonna do it once a week but maybe we're gonna do it twice a week and it won't be much because my friend jack is going on uh camping tomorrow and you won't be here for like about one week so it's gotta be bad if we do it jack will be in it and you might have like had a laugh my old jack when he was in squirrel squad so he won't be here for a week so that's gotta be sad so he, he won't be in our little squirrel squad and if you wonder why like what you call squirrel squad or if you like the name the one who got it is from a friend jessica which is jessica's game plus vlogs make sure to subscribe to her and um yeah so make sure to go subscribe to nook game i'm gonna make a video right after this and please subscribe to squirrel squad and my other games from shank ranger coin plays the floor keep comments katie thomas the six thousand and of course jessica's games plus vlogs so let's jump right into the video so we've got to go watch your love stall and i waited two minutes before he started talking so how do you fall in love? I am always head over heels. Love right way. I need some time to actually fall in love with someone. I've never really been in love. I have before. I'm not telling who. Falling in love is a rational decision for me. It's always love at first sight. I just know when I really like somebody. That last one is not me. No. And I have never really been in love. That's not me. Hmm. I think it's the first one. I'm always head over heels in the love right way. How much are you prepared to sacrifice for your partner? I would move to another country for them. No, I won't move to another country. But if I never got out of my, like, if I never got out of, like, Ireland in my, in, like, most of my life, then I would. I would give up my job for them. I would change my clo clothing store for them. I would cancel a night out with, with my friends for them. None of a love. I would never, no, I wouldn't cancel a night out my friends, with, like, my friends are very important as well to me. I won't move to a country, I, I would press on that if I was, if I would, if I had to. Because I am going to be moving on to a country soon, like, not now, like, when I grow up, I will. I will give them, I, 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 I think I'll give them a job for them. What's most important to you in a relationship? Having the same values and aims. Mm, it stays interesting. Passion, I think passion's got to be like the third one, passion. Personal freedom, reliability, I have not really played this game, i only done the country and what, and what animal I like, that's it. That's all i done. Personal, I think it's passion. Which, of, let's see, how many, uh, four minutes, sorry. It's got to be a part two about this if, if I don't get it done. Which of these qualities is, well, I think, qualities, yeah, qualities is most important to you in the partner. Intelligence, humour. Enthusiasm, affection, and independence. Ooh. Ooh. I think it's intelligence. You see, well, because a lot of people in my school tell me that I'm very intelligent. And a lot of people in my school are intelligent. You see your partner having lunch with someone you don't know how do you react. I'm angry and hurt and demand an explanation right away. I don't. I don't read too much into it. It's just probably a work, okay? A colleague from work. I'm a little suspicious, but they will 
probably have a good explanation or break up with them immediately. Yeah, I, I, I think it's gotta be like, uh, one second, the third one, I'm a little suspicious, suspicious, cause that'll be me. I don't read much into it, more but it's like a colleague from work. Yeah, I think it's the third one. What does the perfect day look like to you? Lots of fun and action, a, rom <laughs> a romantic dinner by candlelight, long and interesting conversations, it needs to be extraordinary somehow. If the chemistry is right, any day will be perfect. I think it'll be lots of fun and action. Because that's me, I'm lots of, or uh, rather lots of fun and action, that's me, I'm hyper. <laughs> My joke. Which of these statements, wait, how long is this? Five minutes and 52. Which of, so you can hear my dad in the background. He's on the Xbox talking to Mike Week's friends. Which of these statements do you agree with most? There is only one, one true love. Love needs time to grow. You need to love yourself first before you can love someone else. Love is a game you can't always win. Love is the desire to give something instead of just talking. Um, I think love needs time to grow. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna exit with that. Okay. A passionate lover. You are very passionate and have a romantic idea of love. You believe in one true love and even if you haven't found it yet, you know that your time will come. Chemistry is very important to you and you always make sure to keep the flame of passion burning. For you, love is one of the most important things in life and you couldn't live without it. That's actually really true. Share your result with your friends so they can also find out what type of lover they are. Well, this is like a lie detector or something like that. Like it's telling like my truth myself. This is this is telling me. And my mom always says this, like, you know, my they always look lovely and all that. Same with the parents. Now let's see what country like does your hair belong to. Which season matches your state of mind? Spring, summer, fall, winter. Summer. Trade summer. Where do you prefer... Wait. I think it's like telling you your like, birthday. And what well, birthday is in summer. I don't want to give my information out that much. No, I'm not like that. So, summer. Where do you prefer to go on vacation? Vacation. Vacation. To the beach. To the beautiful city. I prefer to stay at home now. Always somewhere else. To the mountains. Always somewhere else. Which of these... Virtues, oh, I can't say that. Virtues, yeah, virtues is most important to you. Honesty, discipline, autism, pride, cheerfulness. Um, honesty. How would you plan a day? Oh, here we go. We go see a movie. We go out to eat. We go for a walk. We go to a club. All of that, but movie. Sit up on the back, the very top. What quality must your true love have? Oh my god, love again! Humor, honesty, spontaneity, affection, loyalty, loyalty. How do you prefer to get around? On foot, with my bike, with a cab, with my own car, with public, transporta public transportation. Choose a colour. Blue, green, red, yellow, white. My favourite colours not in here. Gotta go green. I look green. Can you imagine moving to another country for your true love? Yes, I can imagine doing that. No, I won't do that. I'm not sure. Can you imagine moving to another country for your true love? So I'm gonna move to another country for my true love. I'm not sure. What exotic are you? Oh my god. Gemini. Cancer? A Virgo? I am one of these, my man's a, 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 my man's a Gemini. What am I? Um, I, I, I? Yeah, I'm a Gemini. I think. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm in there. I don't know, but I, mostly, I don't know. Which statement do you agree with? Birds of a feather flock together. I'll take the fourth one. Italian. Ooh, I like Italian. Your heart is Ital Italian. Would you like to be that? I'm Mario. Since subconsciously, I uh, subconsciously 
I can't say subconsciously ah uh, I you are Italian emotional artistic and romantic you do everything in life with passion but you also enjoy hanging out and being in good company your heart belongs to it Italy I'm super Mario okay that was good uh what's your mental age based on what is your style of driving? Uh, which accent queen is your soulmate? Uh, how do you spot noise? I'm my eyesight of a thing. Oh crap. No. I'm gonna show you guys what the eyesight I have here, right? Oh my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. An easy question to begin with. How many birds do you see here? Two. Which animal do you see here? A rabbit. What's hiding in the water? An alligator. See, is there something to be seen here? Wait. Oh yeah, there's a bird. Uh, no, there's nothing there. I see a bird. Oh yeah, a person's gotta be, wait. There's something in the background. That, can't, that, that looks like a fox. I can't make out that ball, I know there's a bird there, but something in the background. I'm just gonna say heron. Just branches, right? Oh wait, no, no, there's not. Can you guys see? It's a, uh, you see that lizard thingy there? Uh, there's, there's insects. It's charming. No, there's definitely nothing here. There is something there, look, there's a gorilla. I see a gorilla. Can you find an animal? Yes, in the back one right there. It's at top now. Uh, yes. Just a jungle or more than... Ah, now that's easy to spot. You know, see that? That is right out. Yeah, jaguar. This is easy. Yes, there is nothing there. I don't see anything. A predator. <laughs> and what's hidden here? There's a bird. I don't know what it's called. Poo -poo. A tiger. You have a nice of a tiger. You are an extraordinary vision of a tiger. I'm not going to read it, but you can pause that, the video and read it. Alright. Uh, what percent adult are you? Okay. Let's see what. Uh, at what time do you usually get up? Between 5 and 7? No. About 10 to 12 p.m. I usually get up. I'm very lazy. What do you have for breakfast? Fried eggs with bacon and coffee. I buy coffee to go. Pancakes with syrup and cut. No. None of these are here. I'm just gonna go with fried eggs with bacon and coffee. I love coffee, but fried eggs and bacon are pretty close. So do have bacon and eggs and all that. How how often do you change your sheets? How about once a month? No, no, no. Once a month? No. Once a oh, no. You're supposed to change them. Almost, yeah, almost every week. After lunch, you will load all your dirty dishes into the sink. How long will they stay there? There's 13 minutes. Um, no, I'm going to leave this video here, guys. If you like that, please comment, like, subscribe. And make sure to go subscribe to uh, Nugget Gaming. And you'll see me. No, wait, we've got to do one more one really fast. What toilet paper? So what does the, the toilet paper holder look like to you in your bathroom? Well, actually... I'm going to show you this. I've done this one. Uh, a. A. That's my one. Kind, motive, and brave. Now pause the video there and you can read it because it's 14 minutes. Now let's go with the other one and let's see what it is. B. Alright. Where's B? Yeah. Alright. Relax, reliable, and amazing person to be around. Now that's my younger son. Now let's see B. Need to buy more toilet paper. Yes, you're definitely one of these two extremes. An extreme busy parent with lots of kids. Well, I don't have kids. Uh, C, here's the last one here. Easy going, bold, and a little rebel. That's kind of me as well. That's me. A and thing is me. So, thanks guys so much for this video. If you like that, please hit that subscribe button. And, and please... And become a nook of the day. I'm a nook of gamer trying to become a squirrel of the day on the squirrel channel. And you'll see me in the next video. So, peace.